One of the best resources for school is not limited to just your textbook or those notes that your teacher gave you in class, but instead it is the internet. And this is a powerful resource because you can access notes or practice exams from students and schools across the entire country. And of course, get tips and advice from different perspectives as well. So this is why this video is going to cover some of my personal favorite online resources and websites that I have personally used and found quite helpful. And of course, this won't be like an exhaustive list. So if there is any that you think I missed, just let me know down below. All right, let's begin. So first up is ATAR Notes. And this is a very popular forum and you might be using this already, but I'll just go through some of the things that I use this for. So first, when I'm learning a new piece of content, I sometimes like to look at the notes of other people or past students. And that way I can kind of check and just see if I miss any points. So what you can do is you can click the link uh, down below and this will take you to the homepage. And then you just go to this uh, slide where it says free notes. And then once you're here, you can search up your subject and you'll come up with a lot of results. The only thing here is that the quality might not be guaranteed. So just make sure that it does fit your study design and what you're learning. In addition, you can find a lot of good resources such as practice exams, SACs, or essays. So just to use English essays as an example, you can search up ATAR notes, English essay sample. And you can see here that this gives you a lot of sample essays that you can look at. So whatever you're looking for, just type ATAR notes followed by what you want. Now the forums is probably what I use this the most for because this is where students can ask their questions and get some different perspectives. And I found this extremely useful, whether that was choosing my subjects, uh, revising for my exams, or even when I just had general concerns. Because regardless of what it is, it's likely that someone else might have the same question or concern as you. And this does offer a degree of uh, social support because you know that you're not the only one going through this. So that's ATAR notes, and it was definitely one of the more helpful ones. Now, moving on to the very much credible Reddit forums. Um, I was kind of skeptical of this first, but I did find a lot of the resources here quite helpful to my surprise. So first, you can find uh, you can find PDF versions of your textbooks, practice sacks, guides, all that. So very similar to ATAR notes. Um, there's just some different resources. So I remember when I had one of my maths assessments coming up, and our school didn't provide too many practice materials. So what I did was to just go on Reddit and search VCE methods, practice sacks. You can see here that someone has shared some practice sacks from their school. And this is really helpful if you're trying to do more questions or different styled questions than what you're doing at your school. And the final forum slash website thing that I'll mention is a VCE discussion space, which is a Facebook group that you can join for free. And this is a decent place to check out some common questions or find VCE tutors if you're looking for those types of services. But just a friendly warning, you'll probably find more memes than actual study advice. So uh, I'll leave you with that. All right, let's move on to more subject specific websites. And I'll start off with English. So when you're doing a text or reading a particular novel, I found these websites really helpful. So we have Lit Charts, Spark Notes, and also Grade Saver. And these are really helpful uh, with finding particular quotes and helping you analyze and summarize key concepts. So a lot of the ideas that uh, I came up with when I was writing essays actually was inspired by these websites. And I recommend looking at these before doing your actual essays because it gives you some extra depth and uh, ideas that might help you when writing your essays. And if you're looking for general English support, so for all areas, then I quite like the YouTube channel uh, Lisa Study Guides. That helped me a lot in my experience as well. So for maths and science subjects, I found these YouTube channels quite helpful. So of course we have Khan Academy, and then we have the Organic Chemistry Tutor, so that's for maths or any science really, and Eddie Wu. And this was really helpful for methods and spec because he explains uh, sometimes difficult concepts in quite simple ways. So definitely check him out if you're struggling with a concept in particular. Another great resource for maths is this website called SimboLab. And here you can basically just type in an equation that you're trying to solve, and it'll give you the worked solution to this. So it will show you step by step what you need to do. And this is especially helpful if you have a quite complicated uh, question and you're not sure of the particular steps that you're doing. So this will help set that out quite clearly. 
And just as a side note, the work solutions for math subjects are usually quite helpful. So you can often find these online if you just go on Reddit or I think there's some on ATI notes, or you can just ask your teacher. Uh, but yeah, they are really helpful. All right, so the most accurate ATI calculator. And I think this one has to go to ATI notes. Uh, from experience, this was the one that predicted my overall ATAR the best. So if you're wondering which one's the best, there you go. So for practice, SACs, and exams, of course the VCAR website is the best place to go for your practice exams. So hopefully you know about that. But there's also a Northern Hemisphere exams. So if you just search up a VCAR NHT, so Northern Hemisphere a timetable, then you'll come up with some extra exams that you can do. So this doesn't apply to every single subject, but for subjects such as chemistry or physics, you'll find some helpful exams that you can do. And these are a bit more recent, so it's better than doing extremely old papers. And in terms of some other places that you can get free SACs or exams, uh, ATAR notes, like I mentioned before, offers a lot. But also you can check out this website called iTUT. And here there's a lot of extra maths exams, but also work solutions. So this is a bit more detailed than your VCAR examiner's reports. So hopefully that can give you some additional perspectives and ways of doing questions. For science or any other subjects, you can just type in uh, the name of your subject, practice questions or exams. And for example, when I did that for chemistry, it came up with this link and you can see there's a lot of practice uh, questions here, which I think they're based off exams. So those are my top online resources slash websites. And just in case you're wondering if I did buy any additional resources, so I did, I did buy some like study guides and uh, those types of things. And to be honest, I didn't find them that helpful compared to the free resources. So my recommendation is to use as many of the things that I just mentioned, um, use them up. And if you still need additional help, then you might like to check out some of the paid study guides, but uh, it's definitely not mandatory. And it wasn't something that I used a lot, but that's it. Hope you found this video helpful. And if you want to support me, a somewhat small YouTuber, then make sure to send this video to a friend who's also doing BCE. And I'll see you next time.